Hi friends, I'm Lisa Richard Hernandez with View Properties and Living in Charleston podcast. And today I'm gonna to tell you all about one of my favorite places in Mount Pleasant. It's called Shum Creek. And it's where lots of tourists and lots of locals come to eat and to dine. But there's also a lot of history about the area that I wanted to share with you and introduce you to our administrative assistant who's from the area and actually a true historian. Her name is Lydia Lucas. Hey Lydia, give us a little bit of history about the Shum Creek area. They originally named by the Siwi Indian tribe or Native American tribe, um, probably likely came from the word Shimi. It was a tidal tributary. It was a very lively hub for all its inhabitants here. Um, it was very convenient to Charleston Harbor, um, which made it great for you know, traveling, for delivery of goods. Uh, Pre-Revolutionary War, there was a fort built here to um, you know, protect all the residents in the area. Um, shortly after the war, Jonathan Lucas, who was an English-born millwright, and he built a rice mill here in the area and a sawmill. Uh, we have a plaque here that explains a little bit about his history, and um, you know, it was a very large industry here. Um, did a lot for the area. Another fun fact: in 1791, when George Washington came to visit Charleston, he had breakfast at Snee Farm Plantation, which was a little further inland. Um, then he traveled to the Shim Creek area so he could board a vessel to head over to Washington or uh, to downtown Charleston to uh, do some more visiting with uh, the locals in the area. Um, but it's always been a booming industry in this area with all types of different things. Um, shipbuilding was huge. You also had fishing grabbing, oystering, and then shrimping, which is still a large industry today. So yeah, we've got some great videos of the shrimp boats and stuff that um, are on Shrimp Creek, and it's so fun to watch the fishermen come in still to this day. I, I know that the population of actual fishermen has really decreased since the booming days, right? It has decreased, it has. Um, you know, there's this fancy, trying to fancy it up a little bit, you got a lot more yacht action in the creek, um, but you, you know, still have that the folks, their locals that want to keep it authentic. So you still get to see a lot of that today, which is awesome. Parking at Shem Creek can get really busy in the summer time, especially in the evenings when people are all here for dinner. Um, so if you are close enough to Uber, I always highly recommend Ubering. Here I am at the end of, just about at the end of the pier at the Shem Creek uh, Park and uh, it's just a beautiful view. Shem Creek Park is a beautiful place to just take a walk and get close to the water, see the boats and the animals and the beautiful marshlands, and you can read a little bit about the history of Shem Creek um, in the area if you want to learn more about where we are. And Shem Creek is when you come right up the Cooper River, we're here. And this is where all the fishing and shrimp boats come in and there's a bunch of restaurants and stuff right around this area and you can go kayaking and rent kayaks and pedal boards. You've got to see uh, the shrimp boats in the background right here. The Charleston Harbor is right off, um, right over this way. If I turn around here, you can see those are the bridges to downtown uh, Charleston, right there, the Cooper River Bridges. And um, I'm going to switch the camera around and you can uh, just kind of looking down the creek. We've got Vickery's there and all these beautiful multi-million dollar homes on the water. And on a busy day in the summer, there'll be tons and tons of, tons of boat traffic here. Uh, I just watched a shrimp boat come in. It was so cool. There were um, all these pelicans and birds flying after them, of course, waiting for the bait and for the fish to be cleaned to get their feedings. Maybe we'll get lucky today and uh, I'll see some uh, dolphins in the water. This is a great place to just watch for dolphins and porpoises that are just like swimming along here um, when it's time for them to eat.
I did notice a lot of people out here walking, taking their dogs for a walk, which is awesome. And there's a doggy relief station there, so please pick up after your pets. Thank you.